Supportive choice here is Rotom. This completely disrupts Libre's attempts to use its wall jumps to gain HP, discharge, particularly in dual phase, and 8Y. Pikachu Libre is dangerous even if you can nullify its tactics. Low HP characters straight up have a hard time against it unless they also do obscene damage like Aegislash. This is because of its ability to get defense up at will whenever it bounces off the wall. You can't teach picking a bulky character, but you can teach tactics, so let's stick with those. In field phase, Pikachu Libre can zone out with back Y, discharge, and neutral Y. When it's rushing down, it likes to use forward Y, homing attack, and discharge again since it can shift instantly and lunges forward. Jump A, spark, and double team are pretty annoying too, so let's break down how to deal with all these moves. Back Y can be sidestepped or blown right through with a higher priority projectile. If you prefer to rush Pikachu Libre down, don't give it time to jump off the walls and do this move to keep you out. Forward Y has a very far reaching hitbox and it's safe on block. It also goes very high so jumping over it is not a good option. You really just don't want to be in range of this move. Focus on getting it to whiff so you can whiff punish. Mastering the range of this takes practice. Walking to the side and backwards is very helpful against Pikachu Libre. This also helps to avoid discharge. Remember that when you see discharge, you can't immediately go for the forward wide with punish. Keep walking until it passes you, then strike. Double Team is a particularly dangerous anti-projectile move. On frame 5, it's projectile invincible and passes through physical attacks frame 22. The main attacking option from Double Team is Double Team A. This lunge is super far and unless you're spaced far away, you can still get hit if you're sidewalking. Don't hesitate when trying to whiff punish it. On block, it is minus 8 normally, but 0 when enhanced. Don't try to jump after this, as they will almost definitely use forward Y. I suggest using your own neutral Y or a 15 frame startup move and canceling into something that can beat counterattacks. Libre has a plethora of lunging moves, so it can mix you up with grab, CA, electro web, and forward Y. Stay out of its face unless you have frame advantage. Spark is jumping A, which is an armored aerial attack. Unsafe on block, just another reason to not engage in too many guesses up close against this character. Pikachu's counter attack has a far reaching hitbox, but some forward moving attacks like Blaziken's Blaze Kicks will sail right over it. Actually, that's the only move I know for sure that will sail over it, but it effectively makes that move completely safe against Lee Ray's armor. Pikachu Lee Ray can mix between rush down and keep out, but in dual phase, its only real options to keep you out are discharge and jumping off the wall to cross you up once you get close. So let's focus on those and then how to beat some of its close up options. Discharge is a high, even when fully charged. If you have a ducking low stance, do that. If you don't, usually a 2Y can still go under or a 2X if it's not too committal. Sliding moves can punish it, but make sure you're close enough to make contact with the early active frames. If you're close, even if Libre cancels, you'll still hit it, but from farther out you'll get punished for biting on the faint, which is done with R. To contain Pikachu Libre's jumps, I highly suggest using Rotom, but what I like to do is save Rotom for 8Y in particular. Most characters have no way to consistently punish every option after 8Y. H Slash has 4Y, which does a good job, but most characters get dunked for trying to anti-air normally. Rotom is a guaranteed punish on 8Y. If they come straight down, they get hit for minimal damage and a speed drop which will affect their ability to rush down and keep you out in the next field phase. But if they do any of the air hopping shenanigans or try to come down with Spark, Rotom will stun them for a full combo. Off of 8Y, Pikachu Libre will like to come down with Jump Y and JX. On block, Jumping Y has a bit of pushback, so if you're not in the corner, you can backdash, unlike Pikachu's Jumping Y. But Jumping X has to be respected and can be made plus on block. Now, to note though, a lot of times if Pikachu just does 8Y and then comes straight down with Jumping Y, Jumping Y is going to whiff. They have to, like, be enhanced and then use the air hop back and then back forward in order to actually hit you with the Jump Y. If they just go up and come down with Jump Y, Jump Y is actually usually going to whiff on your character. With punching that's a little bit tough, but you can just wait it out and wait till they come back down. Problem with waiting till they come back down is they can come down with jumping X, which can be made positive on block. But again, Rotom is the way. 8A is flying press. This is normally plus 4 on block, but plus 16 
when enhanced. At a 23 frame startup, this attack is very risky to try to interrupt with an anti-air to try to stop the initial mid-high hitbox because you can lose to Libre's own delayed 8Y. You generally have to guess armor to stop reps of it. It does take a bit to break your shield, however. Being at plus 16 lets Libre mix between this move and Electro Web, which comes out in 21 frames. Pikachu Libre's burst always leaves it enhanced, making repeated flying presses and discharges annoying. Remember to punish the discharges by going low, and to stop flying press pressure, I suggest keeping your own burst on deck until Libre has you in the corner so you can get space. Remember that as long as you're not in Electro Web range, you are never forced to stop blocking. That's it for Pikachu Libre. Next caller. 